What's up guys, sorry I missed a video this week, it's the first one I've missed since i come back I think. Um, really gutted because I've been pretty proud of my consistency since I started doing YouTube again um, after my injury. Uh, but yeah, after the arc problems I had the other week where um, it kept crashing and it used up my backlog of um, videos basically, I've not been able to get back in front. Like many of you guys, I've got a full-time job and it's it's hard to, um, you know, find the time to do all this. Uh, especially when this is my hobby, you know, and I've got to do other stuff as well. Or uh, sometimes. <laughs> I do get stuck on my computer quite a lot. I'm addicted, what can I say? But, um, yeah, sorry about that. Should be back to normal soon. Um, hopefully next week, but definitely in the next couple of weeks. Um, I've actually got a, a week or so off after my next shift, so I'm hoping I can get back on top of everything then. Anyway, back to now. We got all the stuff ready for the industrial forge. Uh, I've just finished um, smelting the rest of the metal, or it should be smelting right now, or refining. Um, so I'll go and get that built in a moment. Uh, I'm probably going to stick it in the um, stable. I'll tell you what, let's have a look if we've got enough. Hang on. If I've got enough metal to do it now, I'm going to stick it in this end here, in the stable area. It should be um, tall enough, I'm hoping. Um, and then if it is, we'll build an aviary or something for my flying mounts. That's probably what I'll do. Plus a proper stable for any um, smaller ground mounts. Like I've got my infinite arc, which I love my new stable on, on my base on there. Anyway, let's have a look. I almost didn't make this video. I wasn't going to record. I, like I said, I've been really busy and um, finally got got the time to come and do it and uh, sat down and then I was reading all the stuff about the uh, current situation on YouTube with the uh, next adpocalypse basically and it was uh, quite disheartening to be honest I already collected this metal yeah, got a lot of uh, powder anyway um, yeah it was quite disheartening and uh, it kind of made me think, what's the point? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on and hope YouTube fix things. Obviously, I don't make no money on YouTube. Uh, I'm a small channel, and uh, I'm to be honest, I'm not really trying to. Um, I mean, I'm trying to grow my channel, obviously, and part of your channel growing eventually will be you might make some money on ads and stuff. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just making videos. I just wanted to start editing and have a go at recording. And that's kind of how I got started, so, you know, that sort of things, I'm not too bothered. Uh, what's going on here? Alright, oh, polymer, okay. I've uh, got some polymer, hopefully. And, um, but, yeah, it's gonna... They're on about making things, like, family-friendly and, uh... Whether your content's aimed at kids and would kids watch it and that sort of thing. And I think, not only is it gonna stop people making money, but it's also gonna kind of reduce your reach because um, and I don't think many people that are kids watch my content um, from my analytics I can see most people are sort of my age really but you know or between like say um, 20 to 35 something like that so I guess that's all right but the content I make could be perceived as being aimed at children and um, yeah I don't know what effects that will have on my growth uh, for my channel, if you know what I mean. Oh, wait, I need 400 polymer. Oh, boy, we got to go murder some more penguins. Okay, well, I can go and do that quick. That's fine. Uh, let's get this back out of here so it don't all disappear. Um, and I need a sword. We didn't take a sword last time. I don't have a chainsaw, but I'm, I think a sword is uh, good for collecting polymer. Um, I've got some... Uh, I'll leave them in there in a minute. I've got some foundations made up because before I come back here to check this industrial forge, which is lucky I did do, uh, I'm going to put up uh, the wall at the end of uh, this area. I'll just show you quick. Um, yeah, I was going to put the wall up just down there where I was hovering above earlier uh, and start making the um, area to breed T Rexes and anything else that I decide to take into the boss fights. Um, because we're technology wise we're ready and um, once I've got my industrial forge going we'll be able to start making like uh, shotguns and all that stuff really easily um, hopefully I'm gonna do I'm gonna start doing some um, beacon runs um, oh, I better jump on my argent actually I'm gonna start doing some beacon runs and trying to get some blueprints and stuff 
and hopefully get some better items ready for the boss fights and obviously um, hunting down the artifacts as well. You know, the artifacts aren't exactly easy to obtain for the most part. I'm going to need shotgun and decent armor and stuff, so... Going to need some good blueprints. Um, but yeah, we're, we're about ready anyway. We're at the right point. Um, I need to go... Oh, we need, we'll just go over this way. I know it's penguins this way. But um, yeah, should be about ready, like I said, to start breeding dinos. And while I'm waiting for them to breed up and get mutations and stuff... I'll be able to um, hopefully make some better armor and weapons and stuff like that already for the um, relic hunting and obviously the boss fights. So, uh, doing quite well, I, I hope. I think we are. Ooh, here's an explorer night. Or is it? Helena Note 21. Hmm. It mean, looks like artifact of the Skylord, doesn't it? I wonder if that's what this is about then. As I expected, Rockwell couldn't deny my theory, but I can't say that I have his endorsement either. He didn't seem terribly engrossed in the subject. Frankly, something else seems to have captured his attention as of late. The islands of Blisks. Apparently Rockwell stumbled upon a way to interact with the towering monuments while spelunking. Spelunking? What's that? I might have to Google that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Such an idiot. I guess he felt the need to scratch that old intrepid explorer itch of his. It's pretty impressive considering his age. Now that I think about it, the blisks could be linked to my own findings. Their nature has always been a mystery and Rockwell made some intriguing observations. I should follow up. That looks like Artifact of the Skylord though, that picture. Hmm. I'm not sure. Anyway, pretty cool. Talking of uh, Explorer notes, obviously I'll still try and do some in the um, actual episodes, but um, it's not working out how I wanted it. <laughs> I was hoping I'd find a couple each episode and stuff like that, but obviously it depends what I'm doing and where I am and whether I've been through it already and you know stuff like that. So um, every episode isn't always having an Explorer note in, and I kind of wish it did. Um, because, you know, the whole idea of the Story of Arc series was to follow the story and work out what's actually going on and get in the full picture kind of thing. Because I only know little bits and pieces. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, and I might have mentioned it before, I don't know, but I'm, I'm definitely considering it more now, is um, going through the Explorer notes I've already got and making some little audio book type things. You know, like I've just done where I read the note, you know. And then break it down into little things, and um, and then put them out as and when I've got them. Won't be no like set timetable for them kind of thing. I can't find no penguins. Um, but yeah, just so they're on the channel, and we've got the actual story there. And uh, obviously, I'll be able to piece things together then. And uh, maybe I'll do like a summary episode once I've read them all. Oh, there's one. And, um, yeah, that way we've actually got the story still going on. Yeah. Oh, no. Come here, you. Oh, it's a baby penguin. Right, let me kill this thing. It's doing my then. Annie, come here. God damn, I should have bought my shotgun. Come on, silly thing, die. I'm right, sorted. Now I've just got to kill this stupid ankle, you know? Oh my god, that took so long. 
I need a new RG. Sorry, Annie, I need a new RG. So I tamed her when um, we had lower levels on. And uh, she's not that strong now because of it. Right. I'm sorry, baby pingy. Oh, man. I was hoping I wouldn't have to murder any more of these since I murdered someone at the end of the last episode. But um, at least this time we've got the sword and definitely get a lot more polymer. Here, another one. Oh, yeah. Getting like 83 polymer off the smaller ones compared to the uh, like 60 something last week, I think it was. With uh, just a pickaxe or ar the argent. Oh, I only got 65. Okay. <laughs> How much you got? Okay, I got 305. I got 305. I need 400 and something, I think. So just get a few more. If I can find any. Alright, let's be sensible and jump back on Annie because um, <laughs> when I've done this in the past and run around in these boulders, I end up running into a pack of bloody wolves or something. And uh, I don't want that kind of trouble right now, you know? Hello, penguins. Where are you? Pingu? They know I'm coming to murder them. I can't find any penguins. Come on, bruh. Nope. Oh, there's some up there, but they're, um... Oh, there's some down here as well. What's in this? Anything good? Oh, a blue... Ascendant blue pink giddy suit. Well, chest piece, isn't it? Cheers. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, look at the baby one. Well, that's um, what I need, plus a couple of hundred more, I think. Stupid things have triggered again. That's okay. I think I'm done here anyway. I might grab a couple more if I can find any quick, just for luck. And then I'll um, head back to the base and... Um, oh, there's a load here. Well, we'll definitely kill these. And then I'll um, head back, get that industrial forge built, get that sorted, and then uh, get my wool put down ready to start making some um, pens for the breeding and stuff like that. I think dino-wise, um, obviously I'm going to get a load of T-Rexes, that's going to be priority, so I'll be getting the wool done and getting their little setup sorted, which I'm going to steal from uh, Barnal Cocky, uh, his little setup I see in one of his videos. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. <laughs> I need to ask him, I'm sure that's right. Uh, Barnal Cocky, I'll put his link in the description as well below. But um, yeah, he made a cool little T-Rex egg collecting thing. I've seen stuff similar before, but his was definitely um, the smartest one I've seen, I think. It's pretty cool. So, I'm uh, probably going to steal that idea. Oh, I can't carry any more polymer. Okay, well, we are done. Oh, let's drop all this meat, that's probably why. I'll keep that prime meat. Damn it, I killed them penguins. I don't think I was picking up the polymer because I'm an idiot. I'm just talking and not paying attention. But, um, yeah, the T-Rex breeding egg collecting type deal. Yeah, it's a really cool little design. Um, it don't take up loads of room. I don't want to build a big dino warehouse type thing on this playthrough. Um, so it's ideal. It's exactly what I need. 
And um, yeah, I'm going to steal it from Barnal Cocky. So like I said, I'll put his link in the description below. And you can check out his channel. And I really do recommend it. His stuff's really good. He's another small channel as well. Um, I'm not sure when he started, but he's, I don't think he's been doing it that long. And uh, his content's really good, so go check him out. Pow. And also, actually, while I am doing a little shout-out, um, you should check out at Geordie Nerd. He's just started an ARC series. He's a great guy. I love watching him. He's really funny to watch, um, <laughs> watch him playing games. Uh, especially, like, he just done uh, Spooktober and he done 31 Days of Halloween and it was pretty epic. And um, he played some really cool games. And I really liked uh, Remothered, I think it was called. And the um, <laughs> the voiceovers he was doing were <laughs> 10 out of 10. So uh, go check it out, it'll make your day. But I'm going to fly Annie back, get this polymer back, and like I said, we'll get the industrial forge sorted and build that wall, in the words of uh, Donald Trump. Right, so hopefully, like I said, we can get this industrial forge done and stick it straight in uh, what is currently the stable type area. I'm pretty sure that's tall enough. I think it will be. And then um, we'll sort out an aviary in a stable later on for uh, my flappers and ground mounts. Right. Okay. Um, not got enough room. Interesting. Now? Oh my god! What a bull ache. Now? Oh, come on, bruh! Oil, metal, cement paste, crystal. That's got to be enough. That's ridiculous. I can only just fit what I need in my foot in my um, fabricator. God damn it. Right, done. Right, industrial forge. Oh, my God, it's so big. Oh, it's not tall enough. It kind of is. Uh, I'll plonk it down and we'll have a little look quick. That. That's out of the back. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, it's sticking free. Pick it up. Right. There. That looks right. Yep, 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 yep. Quick, 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 quick. Yep, yeah, that's cool. We're not sticking through the roof. That will do. It is upstairs, but uh, we can live with that, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we can work around it, and if um, it loses too much storage, we'll um, build an extension. Why not? I like it, though. Sweet. So now we'll have to build another, well, a proper stables and an aviary, that's what we'll have to do. I might attach it to the house somehow. I don't know, that's uh, for another time. There's a sea giant seagull stuck in my roof. Anyway, that's the industrial forge done. Um, is that powered? Oh, it requires gasoline to operate, does it? Okay. I thought you could uh, attach electronics to it. Maybe you can, but it's miles away and I can't be asked to run those cables. Right, that's that loaded. Um, so, have I got any metal waiting? How quick does that do at 37? Well, it's not as quick as the modded ones. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I thought it was going to be loads quicker. I haven't used one of these for ages, I can't remember how, um, how slow or quick they are. I thought they were quicker than that, though. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that is good, actually. It's just done the whole lot in one big hit. All right, that's good. Sweet. We'll, well, we're uh, going to be rolling in the metal as soon as I go and farm some up. Oh, I've actually almost got a full Ascendant ghillie suit. Just need the uh, boots and gloves. Boots and gloves and boots and gloves. And that's not the beatboxing, is it? So, it's close then. Right. Did I pick them up? Nope, no, I didn't. I thought I picked up my uh, foundations. I'm not sure how many foundations I actually need. We'll take Tony for um, that. Because uh, 
when I get a bird's eye view of where I'm going and then once you start building upwards we'll need him, maybe. Um I don't think I need a massive area. I'm only aiming really to get T Rexes, a couple of Deodons maybe. Um I wanna try out a patchy rhinoceros because they got torn and I wonder how they'll do in a boss fight. And um some U trans. So that's not gonna require that much of an area. I think I'm gonna need like say four females of each and a male of each. Um so I don't think I'm gonna need a lottery. Let's go from here. Ah, it's already a bull lake. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to try and watch this a little bit. Um, there might be a way to get around what just happened there, but I don't know what it is. So um, <laughs> I'll just sort of make do with what I can do, you know? That lighting is sick, isn't it? I love this game. Look at it! Look how stunning that is. Awesome. What a beautiful game. Uh, yeah, and just in case you're wondering, yeah, I have got uh, the collision turned off so I can put things into things because uh, it annoys me. Because in real life, let's say you wanted to build something around this rock, you could just build something into that rock, or at least make it butt right up to it. If you don't have this option turned on, you can't place anything there. You'd have to like come out here. It's like, well, I don't want to. And it's not... It don't matter too much, but yeah, I like to have the collision turned off, or whatever you call it, so that I can clip things kind of, kind of deal. Why is this not snapping under there? Is it because it's not S+. Plus? I think it is, isn't it? That wasn't S plus though. Maybe I just got lucky and didn't have the issue over there. That'll do. Again, there might be a neater way of doing that, but I don't know what it is. So, it's just getting bodged for now, okay? Oh, this is bugging me. Do you know what? I wish I'd turned S plus on. This is why mods exist. God damn it. I thought it'd be nice to play about mods, you know, but it's just not. Ah, oh, I'm out. I'm almost at the water. Have I made enough? Yes and no. We're at the water, but I need to come down a little bit. I haven't quite got enough to finish the wall, I don't think, but I've at least got one side of it done. Front side, so nothing can wander through. Um, might have enough materials to finish this off at least, anyway, at least finish the walls off. Um, oh man. Almost! That was 75 walls, I think. So we weren't far off. Um, yeah, let's have a look at what it looks like so far. Yeah, that would be ideal, that. That's perfect. Um, a lot more room than I need, probably, as well, so that's nice. Uh, I'll get rid of that cage now, really, as well. I don't really need it, I don't suppose. But yeah, there we've got the start of the wall, anyway. Eventually, it'll look like this one. I'll put some walls and railings on the top to give it that um, castle wall type look. Yeah, we're getting there. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'll get this finished. That's basically done now. Just got to stick the top on it, really. Then we'll get the T-Rex egg collecting device that Barnal Cocky showed in one of his videos. Um, pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. I'm really sorry, dude, if I'm butchering your name. I think that's right, Barnal Cocky. And um, yeah, gonna get that built. 
going to get an Avery built probably because I don't like having stuff outside. It just looks trash. I don't like that I've got dinos just sat there at the minute. It looks weird. <laughs> I think it should all be neat and tidy, you know. Um, get that sorted. And, uh, yeah, we're well on the way to getting our breeding ready for uh, the bosses and stuff. Going to have to grab a Baryonyx again soon as I'll get a high level one and go and do some relic farming. And also, really, go and do some treasure hunting, basically. Uh, get some of them blueprints found. Um, hopefully that'll be a nice way of doing it. Anyway, I'm going to get some more stuff farmed up. I think I just need a little bit more wood. And uh, get that finished. And I'll see you in the next one.